In this lesson, we are going to be looking at perimeter and area, um, but specifically we're going to be looking at rectangles with equal perimeters. So um, they'll have different areas, but equal perimeters. Um, and so let's go through the lesson together. So first of all, you need to remember two things. What is area and what is perimeter? Um, area is the number of squares or boxes, whatever, inside a rectangle or shape. And perimeter is the area around or the, the length and width around a shape. So um, the area on this um, rectangle is 12. And then the perimeter, um, if you counted up, all of the edges would be 14. Um, and so let's look at perimeter first. So when finding the perimeter of a rectangle on grid paper, you can count the number of squares that touch the edge of the shape. Um, and so if I'm doing this on paper, usually I just put a little tick beside each of the um, rectangle or uh, each each part segment, I guess, of the, the grid paper. Um, and so it'll look like this. And then in my head, as I'm putting a tick, I'll put one, two, three, four, all the way around. Um, and I don't, not, tend to write the numbers down because that would take a long time, um, but you definitely can and this is what it would look like. Um, and so uh, the perimeter of this shape would be 20. Um, and then we're assuming that this is 20 centimeter grid paper. So it would be 20 centimeters all the way around the rectangle. Um, and then, so how do we find area then? Um, you count up the number of squares inside the rectangle um, and so we have an x on the first one and this is one of the ways by the way um, so we can put an x inside of each one of the squares and then we can count them up and we'll end up with 21 we don't have to put an x we can just point and count um, but this is how i'm showing you visually so um, we'll have 21 centimeters squared um, and see that little two right here above the centimeters that means that means area, that means squared. So it's not just one length or one width, it's the area inside a shape. Um, and so 21 centimeters squared means there's 21 little square centimeters inside the box. Um, and so that's important every time you put um, area, you have to have that little two beside whatever unit of measure. And usually we're gonna be working with centimeters, um, but there's also another way that you can um, used to find area, and that is multiplying the length times the width. Um, and so all you have to do is count up one one length and one width, and then you multiply it together. Um, so for this one, the length is seven and the width is three. And don't worry too much about which one's length and which one's width. It doesn't really matter um, as long as you're multiplying seven times three, um, and that will get you the 21 that we got when we counted up all the shapes, um, all the squares, I mean. Um, and then that's 21 centimeters squared. And so um, we can apply that to our lesson then. So rect rectangles with equal perimeters can have different areas. So each rectangle to the right has a perimeter of 18 centimeters. Um, and so you'll see this long, this long skinny one. If you were to count up all of the edging here, it would equal 18. Same with this one, because this is a, this is a one and then, um, an eight and then a one and an eight if you add that up it would be 18 this is a two and a seven this is a three and a six and this is a four and a five and let's go through how to actually do that um but first just keeping in mind this long skinny one says the, the re rectangle with the least width has the least area um and then the rectangle closest to the shape um, of a square has the greatest area so the closer you get to a square the more area you have inside um, and so how do I find the rectangles? So this is this is what you're gonna do. First, you're gonna wanna make a chart. So the chart, just like um, you can see here on your screen, um, you're gonna make a chart and divide the given perimeter in half. So in our case, in the other thing, it was 18. So um, it's gonna be nine. And then think of two numbers that when added equal half the perimeter. So what does that look like? So 18 divided by two equals nine. So half of 18 is nine. So now we're thinking what plus what equals nine? And uh, I always start with one because that's easy. Um, so one plus what equals nine? Well, one plus eight equals nine. Then go to two, because that's the simplest way. Two plus what equals nine? Two plus seven equals nine. Then go to three. Three plus what equals nine? You got it, it's six. And then uh, the last one, just go up. Four plus what equals nine? It's five. You'll notice that it, if you do the chart this way, um, and it's it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it's 
and, and it's going to go like that. Um, you're going to stop the chart when either the four and the five are one away from each other or they, they're exactly the same. Sometimes you'll have like, um, if we were adding to eight, we would have one, two, three, four, and then four, five, six, seven, because if we were wanting to equal eight. Um, yeah. So how do you find the rectangles? The next thing that you need to do is draw each rectangle that you found here. So here's our chart. So we're going to use grid paper and a ruler and a pencil. Um, so here's grid paper, and then we've got a ruler. Um, I did it on the computer, though, since you know we're doing the video on the computer. Um, and so we're going to draw each shape. So here we go. We've got the 1 by 8 here, the 2 by 7, the 3 by 6, and the 4 by 5. It uh, doesn't necessarily have to be laid out on the grid paper like this, but I find it the easiest to make it just like one square shorter each time and one square wider each time. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is write the length and width on each rectangle. So that first one there, it's one centimeter and eight centimeters. And then you just continue on with the rest um, of each centimeter written on there. And then you are going to write the area of each rectangle. Um, and some of them are long and skinny. You can write it across side and do sideways. So area um, for the first one is eight centimeters squared. So you can go one times eight equals eight, or you can just count them up. But uh, I, I find it easier to do the multiplying of the simple math. But if you don't know the answer, just count up the squares. Um, and so for the rest of them, uh, the two by seven would be 14 centimeters squared. The three by six would be 18 centimeters squared. And the four by five would be 20 centimeters squared. And uh, yeah, that's how you do that. Um, so to summarize all of our learnings today, um, because this is the end of the lesson, um, to find different perimeters, divide the perimeter in half, add two numbers together so that they can, so that they add up to half of the perimeter, use a chart to help, three, draw each rectangle, and four, label the perimeter and areas of each rectangle. And uh, yeah, so that is the basics of our lesson today. Um, remember, you're going to want a ruler um, and grid paper. You can print it off from the um, resources, or if you have graph paper, that works too. Um, and yeah, you're going to be taking pictures of your assignment. So I hope you have a fun time and definitely watch this video again if that didn't make much sense. <laughs>